And we're back. Stick. We uh, do do us uh, do us do us a welcome back jingle. Like a um, commercial, like an unnamed Gamecast commercial jingle. A Gamecast commercial? Yeah, uh, a jingle, like a little. Well, you know, like um, who, who does that one jingle? Eight hundred five eight eight two three hundred Empire today. Man, I haven't heard the Empire one in forever. <laughs> yeah, the, the like, what are they like? Carpet sales people? <laughs> they sell <laughs> they sell carpets and crap. I thought they were like insurance or something. Insurance? I thought. Look, you know what? Google that shit. I I could have sworn they sold they sold carpets. Oh no. I could have sworn they sold carpets or like floors, home improvement crap. Oh no. Oh maybe they are. Oh. Uh. Yeah. They are it's Empire it's our... carpet. Oh my god. No flooring. <laughs> flooring. They're, they're just flooring. Okay. They're just not wow. general flooring. Yeah, I don't when even I was remember what they were. When I was a kid, well, again, when I was a kid, funny these biplanes just made it like close to the front lines. It's like, all right, well, I'll go home now. Um, when I was a kid, uh, that commercial was like the commercial that like played. Yeah. It played constantly. Okay, so they have an archive of all of their commercials they've ever aired, and they have a total of what is this? one, two. Have five TV commercials. Okay. That doesn't seem like that doesn't seem correct. They, I could have sworn they had more. They might have more, but this is the five like on their website oh, documented their... TV commercials. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. The very first one is from 1983. <laughs> when were they established? Oh, the hat story. Hat story. When were they established? <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Buy this oil they here. were. Do they have an about page? Oil rig. Oh, they do. What did you What did you do today? Oh, you know, I I, I looked at part. I looked at floor planning people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so we won the war. Finally, uh, we have defeated Gorgo and her Greek Empire, and now, yeah. like I was telling Stick before we like, started the episode, my strategy is going to Very shift. Energy. So. I'm going for a military victory, right? Um, in order to get a military victory, <clears throat> I have to capture the capitals. Honestly, just the capitals. I don't even have to do like a full-scale invasion. Mm. I just have to capture the capitals of Poland and uh, the Incas. Now the Incas, I don't. I haven't scouted any of their territory yet. The Poles, I have scouted a little bit of their territory, and Krakow, Krakow. 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 This city, their capital, is right on the coast, which is bad for them because uh, we're Vikings, um, and we we do coastal invasions as like you know that's that's like our day job. So yeah. we'll probably yeah, end up. So. I have a... how much melee strength do you guys have? Should I break these? Well, no, I can't move these guys out. So I can't do a transfer. Darn. Oh man, it would be it so like funny if I could roll LLC up on them with back these in things. 2008. It'd be so funny if I could roll up on them with these uh, Viking long tips. Um, oh yeah, you just unpark them. And... Yeah, well, because like uh. their defense strength ain't that strong, but yeah. So what we'll probably do is we'll get some form of naval invasion going, uh, preferably with an aircraft carrier. Although I need to research combined arms for that. Uh, when are you getting the big booms? Come on. The nukes? I might not even get to Come nukes on. in this game, man. Come on. Like. I mean, nuclear fission is right there. At Right, but I would need so first I gotta get I'm gonna get advanced combined flight. Of I'm getting advanced flight to upgrade my fighters. Uh, I'm getting combined need 14 arms. turns, 19 total turns to get nuclear fission. And then Come on. nuclear. Well, so in order to get 19 turns, nuclear fission. Come on, do it. Just for you. All you need. Just for you, stick. Um, <laughs> well, cause okay, so it's not enough to just research nuclear fission. I also have to get a uranium mine to actually get uranium for the nuclear devices. I then have then to perform start mining. I then have to perform the Manhattan Project to be able to create nuclear devices. Then, then start build, the Manhattan Project. Then I gotta build the nuclear device, and then I have to have a delivery like. Uh, yeah, just get a nuclear submarine. Come on. A nuclear submarine all the way up here. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a regular bomber. Or a bomber. I'll just I'll do it I'll do it World War Two style. We'll just uh, 
build a nuclear device. Uh, my favorite is to take a nuke sub and just stroll around the cities. Yeah, I could also blow up everything. I could also build a missile right. silo. The problem is, I don't think I have. Ooh. I don't think I have the range for missiles. Well, you could just go build a missile silo anywhere. It has, to be, to, territory. Territory, it has to be in my territory. It has to be in my territory, my guy. Boo! All right, so take over a city, put a nuke silo, and then launch a I'm nuke. I'm only gonna. I'm only trying to take over the one city, though, the capital. <laughs> it's like yeah. Uh, take over that city. Put a, put silo a nuke silo. There. It's gonna be an oh, aircraft no. carrier bomber. Uh, that, I'm, I'm yeah, calling yeah. it right now. I'm gonna build a bomber, build an aircraft carrier. That's gonna be my delivery method for my oh nuclear my device. God. Um. So, I guess the poles are gonna get nuked. That's it, the. In, in there. The Polish? The Polish. Polish aren't in this. Oh, they're right <laughs> here. Who are the Polish? They're right here. It's Janus. <laughs> Dang Jan it, Janus. Janus from... All right, let's see. Yeah, Janus uh, is in the end. The Polish aren't. Say two hidden agendas. Cool. Let me find out what that's, some of those are. That's Poland. Come on, man. The... Are you taking the piss? I, Poland I, and Polish are two different things. They're not! One is a country, the other you use on hardwood floors. That's Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the Incas are going to receive the land invasion, I guess. Which looks like it might actually be more difficult. Because we got some oh, yeah. to go through. But, you know, this this territory isn't owned by them. So we should be able to make a landing. Just should be okay. Uh, <laughs> the Poles then are going to get the honor of getting the nuclear bomb dropped on them. Followed by uh, what might end up being a naval invasion. Ladies and gentlemen, you get the privilege the of having a nuclear honor. warhead fired at you. Well, you know, I'm... okay, stick. How many countries in history have had nuclear warheads fired at them? Uh, let's see. Three. There's only been three. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There's been three countries wow. that have had nuclear detonations in their borders. To my knowledge, yeah. at least. Russia fired some at themselves for testing. <laughs> Which was brilliant. For, for testing, for testing. The United States yeah. fired some at themselves, again, for testing. For testing. And yep. then uh, Japan had some fired at them during World War II for testing, again. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it could have turned into four, but, you know. Yeah. Cuba. Canada. Cuba. Canada. <laughs> uh, let's see. How fun that <laughs> Yeah, dang it, man. Have you have you seen those videos of like the the nuclear, um, like what to do in a nuclear attack? Uh, like they they made these videos for schools so that way kids could know what to do if the nuclear sirens went out. Wasn't it like went off? hide under a desk, face hide the under a desk explosion? Uh huh. And pray for the sweet release of death. And there were certain rooms in schools and other buildings oh, designated as a fallout it. shelter. Ah, uh, I see. I remember seeing a bunch yeah. of those when I was in Korea. The bunkers that they had. Um, but those were like just regular bomb shelters that could yes. also be fallout shelters. Yes. They were like yeah. uh, lined with some sort of treatment and crap. One of the most interesting things, and I don't remember. Um, the exact story, but there was like a school mm. that built a nuclear fallout shelter in the basement. Real quick, real quick. Um, Hi. What wounded, is this boy? Wounded warrior from the ancient era. I'm going to hit you with <laughs> Need my... a rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> I have stick. Big, big stick. Like, oh man. Oh, you have bombs. Those poor cosplayers. <laughs> that just, they have no idea what hit them. They were just at the Ren Fair They're and then the... suddenly. Someone just came up and blasted gonna, him in the I'm face. I'm gonna wait until um, I get destroyed oh, just to get the, the caravel upgraded. Yeah. I don't really want to burn coal because, you know, that's what, when you're doing a military invasion. What else do you do with coal? You burn it. Well, okay, when you're doing a military invasion, the last thing that you want to happen is climate change. Uh, really? <laughs> is that the last thing I, that you want to I'm already happen? burning a lot of coal, all right, man? Like, if I'm, <laughs> well, okay, think of it long term. Right? If I'm gonna rule the world, I don't want it to be like a crappy world. Oh yeah, world, you don't want the right? world to be gone. I want it to be like a good yeah. world. So like, you gotta think long term. And you know, That's long true. long term, I want not horrible climate change. I want I want good world to rule over. Wasn't there a game that we played where I was basically the sole contributor of all nuclear, or not, uh, uh, of all global Both warming? Both you and Blonde. 
So I, I played, Blonde was pretty up there too. I yeah. played a game with Blonde, like where it was just me and Blonde playing together, and she was doing her best to wreck the climate for whatever reason. Not, not even as like a, like an accidental, like oh, you know, I'm wrecking the, I'm wrecking the climate. Um, it was, yeah. I'm doing it on purpose. Doing it on purpose, wrecking to, the planet, yeah. and. My economy was so, uh, my, my like production and all that was so top tier that I was able to recapture all of the carbon that she was pumping out from all of her <laughs> fucking coal factories and shit. She's like, no, climate change is my military strategy. I'm like, you, why is climate change your military <laughs> strategy? He's like, well, if I flood. Why take over the city whenever you can I, just flood if it? I, if I um, raise the sea level enough to where everything is flooded, then all of their coastal cities will drown. I'm like, you. that's a horrible military strategy. <laughs> I mean, talk about playing the game for the long term, but like... It's the long game, yeah. Yeah, the but long like, game. damn. Like, uh, you know, I hope that you're... I hope that you have your own flood walls, which I guess she did. Which kind of fun. psychopath are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is how you get your sick kicks. Uh, so these Some are... people just want to watch the world drown. Yeah, so, yeah. so these are our... Uh, uh, our top tier governments, uh, modern tier yeah. governments. I don't have to get these. I will get communism, not because I'm gonna switch to communism, <laughs> but because well, okay. And this is something I love about like Civ Six, uh, the different policies that are associated with the yeah. governments. Like I can still be kind of communist. You can be a little bit communist. Be a little communist, you know. It probably in real life, it'd probably like get me voted out of power or whatever, but. <laughs> Like, oh my god, how dare you... Okay, endorse... guys, we're just dipping our toes in communism. Yeah. We're, not, we're not going full D communism. Diet communism. Diet communism. Yeah. Well, that's just socialism. Uh. <laughs> no politics on this channel, Stick. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get into, like, a big old debate. Some, someone in the comments is gonna call us out and be like, oh, Actually... No. Actually... Actually... Yeah. The, the gateway drug to communism is gangster rap. And we're like, oh, no. what? <laughs> not, not Amish Paradise. Not, oh. <laughs> Amish, pa <laughs> Amish Paradise is about as far from gangster rap as you can get. What are you talking about? I Okay, I know it's a parody, but like, it's a parody. <laughs> that's about... Could you imagine if that was the like the anthem for gangsters? That's the, Amish Paradise. Yeah, that's the gold standard for gangster rap. It's weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> So I walk through the forest where I Weird Al is awesome. There was a, uh, I don't know which music video awards or whatever it was, but he did, um, he, he presented a, an award along with, um, oh, what's his name? Not video about it. The guy that had like all the, the crazy hair, was it Jay, um, the guy that had, oh, he was a rapper. The guy anyway. that had the crazy hair. Boy, that yeah, narrows he, it down. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people it, in history who've had crazy 50 hair. Cent. No, it wasn't 50 Cent. Are you talking about specifically a rapper that had crazy hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, like, really long, um, like, sticking straight up threads. Uh, good question. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, look that up. But yes, we, it was... we stand Weird Al on this channel. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? It's Weird Al. Like, you can't... Oh, Everybody man. loves Weird Al. Julio, that was his name. Yeah, literally the guy that the guy made who made Gangsta's, Gangsta's Paradise. Paradise. Okay, okay. I could not remember his name for the last. I kept on wanting to say LL Cool J. I was like, no, that's the cool wrong J? person entirely. Wrong he doesn't even have hair. Him. He doesn't even have All hair. All right, so talk to me um, about this interview. Well, it oh, wasn't an interview. Problems. He was presenting a music award. Uh huh. And he basically wore the same hairstyle as Coolio. Uh, and Coolio was like, yeah, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> it's been straight up copied. <laughs> Check me out. We have regular, like, World War II era Wait. fighters now. Wait. Soon Can you I'm... believe that that album, uh, Bad Hair Day, was back in 1996? Sorry, it was released when? I couldn't hear you over the rocket launchers. Amish Paradise, which was in Bad Hair Day, mm -hmm. was an album made in 1996. 1996. Dang, I'm old. And I'm, that album... I'm not that old. ...hit number 14 in the top 200 chart. Hmm. Didn't that, like, get him into a spot of controversy? Like, uh, um... Because Julio was upset that his, like, 
his, his uh, thing was remixed or, or, or parodied? He was initially upset about it. He was like, yeah, I don't like it being appropriated to a, a parody because it's like about the struggle of yada, blah, 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 blah. And then it gets... Not getting into it here. It, it gets turned into like a... a I mean, making fun of it's the still, Amish. Okay, it, I, it's still, it's about the Amish struggle of you know not <laughs> having like telephones and crap. Sure, but uh, eventually Coolio was like, yeah, no, I was completely out of line there. I'm sorry. It's a it's a Weird Al Yankovic parody. You can't be you can't be upset about that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Now there was one song that I know Weird Al was going to make uh, with Michael Jackson's parody of. Um, it was one about, like, uh, we all need to get along or something like that. Uh -huh. I don't remember. There was one where it was like, I don't want that message of the song being twisted. Because it's kind of like my call to action anthem. Mag like, okay, that makes more Magnum sense. Magnum opus. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. My favorite... Okay, so two things that Weird Al has done that live rent-free in my head. Uh, number one is the Hamilton Polka, because... <laughs> it's the Hamilton polka, Hamilton and he does polka. the and yep. he does the fast part for both of the fast parts of the song. He does the guns and ships, and he yep. does the uh, Washington on your side like fast parts. The only one that he's, he's missing, very good at singing quickly. The only one that he's, he's missing awesome. would be like the satisfied one from Angelica. But I don't know if Weird Al wants to sing about his undying love for Alexander Hamilton. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> it kind of sounds on par for him, though. <laughs> it's just a little weird. Um, point, point being, no, like, uh, and, and I got turned into a Hamilton fan when I was in Korea. Um, hmm. uh, my, there was nothing else to do. My girlfriend at the time, uh, which my ex-girlfriend, it, it's it, it's such a like negative connotation. Like, oh, it's my ex-girlfriend. Like, no, she's a fucking lovely person. It just didn't work out between us. Um, yep. But, uh, yeah, my ex-girlfriend, uh, she was like, hey, you should check out Hamilton. And I was like, uh, you know, maybe eventually. But then on this one long bus ride, it was like a three-hour bus ride, and I didn't have shit else to do. So I'm like, all right, fine, let's listen to this. It is amazing. Shut yeah. up, Janice. I'm talking about Hamilton. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Janice, um, be quiet. Anyway, Weird Al Yankovic did the Hamilton polka. Also, uh... He works a lot with Shmoyoho, the YouTube channel, who remixed the presidential debate. I know he said no. Yes. I know he said no uh, politics on this channel, but he's remixed like the last few presidential debates. Yes. And it's makes him into weird. Songs makes him into songs, which makes him so much more consumable. He does the the bad lip reading too, doesn't he? Uh, does he? I don't. I haven't seen that. If he does, I haven't seen that. Um, but like, Remember. just. The man's talented, and also does a lot of funny crap that makes the world, like, not yes. as horrible as a place. Oh, no, he doesn't. He, he doesn't do bad lip reading. Because, like, the, you know, he makes... But he songifies a lot of stuff that just makes no sense. Where on earth... Wait, do I have to be... Oh, no, I have to be a communism to... A, a communist. I have to be a communist state to get that. Hang it. <laughs> Man. Um, All right, whatever. We'll see about the world. My my favorite Weird Al song mm. is uh, "White and Nerdy." White and Nerdy. That is a classic. Absolute banger. When did that come out? White and Nerdy came out in. Uh, let's see. It came out in. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Two thousand six. That that's a lot more recent than I thought. I thought that was older. Uh huh. Yeah. Light and nerdy. But obviously, it's um. Which is, you know a parody it, of riding dirty. Riding dirty, yeah. Which that yeah. song is a meme well, juggernaut by Chameleon Air. That is a that song itself is a meme juggernaut in and of itself. Like, Correct. Because that was the whole. They see me rolling. They hate <laughs> him. And then like you put it over footage of like some dude in a trash can. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're going down the, the song street. itself is a meme and a parody. Yeah. And, and then, then Weird Al took it another step forward and made like, a better actually, parody. Actually, let me, let me make it into a, a song about dudes who like the Ren Fair a little bit too much. Which, <laughs> like, as a person who likes the Ren Fair a little bit too much, that that tickles my Zoomer it, it brain. It tracks. Yeah. <laughs> it, um, it, I used to know all the words to it. I probably could still 
recite most of it. Okay. The next um, video is gonna be sticks cover no. of white and nerdy. Oh, weird. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll give you. What's some... with you trying to give me a thing every? I, okay, because you were a choir kid. <laughs> I've heard you. Um, did sing, you know air quote, that like, before jokingly. Key and Peel got very, very popular, mm -hmm. they were actually in that music video? They were in um, White and Nerdy music video? They are in White and Nerdy. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, they roll up in the car and they see him waving while mowing the oh, lawn. Oh, that's and they're Key just and like, Peel? Oh my god. Really? That's Key and Peel. I yeah. didn't know that. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, I mean, shit. Also, I got the wrong spy mission. Whoops. But hey, he didn't die. Um, shoot. That's pretty stinking cool. Yeah. Key and Peel did uh, Epic Rap Battles of History, Michael Jordan versus Muhammad Ali, which is one of my favorites. Yes. Because, just because of how, like, I mean, I, look, the rapping is amazing, but the beat is, like, top tier. That is some, yes. that is some funky shit. <laughs> I love that, like... To fight for something. Okay, cool. So we got aircraft carriers, destroyers. Like, in the background, uh, the, the game has basically become like, happening in the background. I'm preparing for a military invasion, but, like, you know, that's boring. <laughs> 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 military invasion? Boo. Uh, what do I need to get? I need a seaport, don't I? Be able to buy. Let me start, start spending money right if i'm gonna end the game soon which i hopefully am i need to start spending copious amounts of money on aircraft and crap uh because we have our aircraft carrier researched and i wish that this was something that you could do in real life where if you don't have like you just research a brand new technology and then it, i immediately throw a crap ton of money at it and mm. we get a free one like you know scientists have discovered that, the, uh, like, you can use AI to make, I don't know, whatever freaking crazy theoretical science, like, and then yeah. so the government just throws a crap ton of money at it, and it just happens. It just works. It just yep. immediately is like, by the way, so I need a second aircraft carrier, don't I? Uh, oh do you God. have a seaport? No, Stubinger. and you we don't. should probably take a break. Let me buy this I've aircraft I've not been watching carrier. the time very long, not very well Let today. me Let me buy this air. Oh, I... Did I actually freaking run out of money? You did. No. Okay. I have a thousand fifty-four. Yeah, and uh, it's because this uh, d destroyer is sitting here, and I can't, I yep. can't stack them. So, all right, cool. Yep. Eventually, eventually, I'll get uh, enough. Eventually. Enough. Honestly, making me money. But yeah, let's take a break. Um, we will prepare for the invasion of the Inca, and the bombing of the Polish. Oh no. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, yeah. Wait, why yep. am I? Why? Cool. Why am I You're stalling. You're stalling. Oh, I gotta. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get advanced oh. ballistics. Cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll prepare for that next time. Talk yep. to you guys after we take a break. Yep. Bye. Bye. See me rolling.